Hi, I'm Christopher Vick, the uh, Regional Sales Manager with FLA Synthetics, and I'm here with Jason Maxwell. He's the Branch Manager of Roofer Supply in Linden, Utah, and we're here to have a quick discussion regarding the difference between asphalt felts and synthetic underlayments. So Jason, uh, we've got the standard asphalt felts. Would you mind giving us a little explanation as to, to what traditionally you used on 15 and 30 pound? Yeah, certainly. A lot of the history with roofing, as we know, uh, that a lot of the felts that were used for roofing was to protect the actual decking. And what they found is that they had a asphalt material that they could impregnate at, on some sheets and put that on the roof. And now they're still gonna put holes through it with nails and whatnot, but they found that just by doing that, they could secure the roof enough to put their shingles on. Um, so what they actually started with was a 15 pound felt, and then they went to a 30 pound felt. The difference with these is the 15 pound felt is a four square roll, and the 30 pound felt is a two square roll. Quite heavy to move around on the roof, but in what they were able to do was find that they could put this on the roof, secure the roof um, before they put their shingles on. And what they found though also is that being on the roof, um, that the time that it sits on the deck itself, it was starting to wear out. Um, it would start to be exposed to the elements and they were finding that a lot of the asphalt was starting to evaporate out. And so the started to degrade the product itself. And so about 15 years ago, they started to find that there's an opportunity to see some synthetics that were coming out of the market. And those are some of the things that Chris here has today. Absolutely. So with synthetic roofing underlayments, they meant to replace the asphalt felt on the roof as an underlayment uh, prior to putting whatever uh, final material you're putting on, whether it's asphalt felt, uh, tile, metal, um, uh, slate shingles or whatnot. And so they came out with a couple different grades of products. So we have our FLA Superior and FLA Platinum. The largest difference between the products come into the, the installability as far as you've got to four, uh, four foot tall rolls, 10 square rolls. And so if you're looking at a 15 pound felt, uh, which also actually with 15 pound, they were called 15 and 30 pounds because traditionally the D226, it was 15 pounds uh, previously and then Correct. 30 pounds per square as you're looking at that. Uh, you've got lighter weights product that's still called 15 and 30 but does not actually you know, uh, have that same weight uh, per square. Um, and we were able to create all of the benefits and features plus some in a synthetic that these were able to offer in, in a much stronger tear strength and a much lighter weight roll. So this 10 square roll is actually lighter weight than the two square or the four square roll uh, that you get in standard asphalt felt. So you're getting a, a much uh, a greater amount of material in the product at a much lighter weight. So they, that really added a lot of benefits on a couple different ways. The roofing contractors, of course, can have a much faster install and easier to use product. It's going to uh, use a couple different fasteners. It's not going to degrade, as you mentioned. You've got to normally, I would say, on average in in standard climate, would you say about two to four weeks? But two to four weeks is pretty accurate before it starts to fade out and lose its its integrity. Absolutely. And obviously in, in high heat or in, in massive rains, that can change to, to how long they last. Whereas your synthetic market, uh, you know, your standards on the economy grade against 15 pounds averages anywhere between 30 and 90 days uh, UV exposure, which is an excellent piece. Epilay has actually stepped up and come out with a 365 day exposure on their product. So you can leave it exposed and have UV resistance up to an entire year on the roof which really does, it's a game changer as far as how long uh, people are able to, to work into their products and, and, and be a lot more secure prior to having their shingles on them. Um, we do offer the different grades because just like 15 and 30 pound, your 15 pound as a standard has, has a, is a lighter roll, it's about half the weight, half the tear strength, and so there's a large concern the steeper the roofing project gets, the less secure you would be on a 15 pound felt, therefore you would have a 30 pound to give you that extra tear strength. Um, one of the biggest features and benefits, of course, is the tear strength, even on the most, the lightest grade economy product is going to outperform in tear strength the strongest 30 pound felt. Um, that doesn't mean that that should be used for every single piece. And so that, that is the, the biggest difference I would say that uh, we see in the industry today is that a lot of guys are saying, hey, this replaces everything. Whereas, whereas the truth is your economy grade product is really meant to go after that 15 pound market. So while it still has all of the features and benefits that even the, the best 30 pound has, there are additional walkability features, installation, tear strength especially, that if you step up to a premium product like the Platinum, you're gonna see that on an 812, 10, 12, 12, 12 pitch that uh, you'll see the benefits from. So, so price-wise, your 15 pound synthetic is meant to go uh, and work against the 15 pound asphalt market. And, and then of course your premium grade, your entry level 30 pounds and your premium grade 30 pound synthetics are meant to be able to, 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 to tackle the 30 pound asphalt felt today. And I will say this, with the change in the different types of underlayments that we're seeing today, our contractors alone are loving the fact that 
they don't have to take up so many rolls of 15 pound or 30 pound felt on the roof when they can take one roll of 10 square of your material and it saves them a lot as far as weight to get it up there and also the ability to lay it out properly on the roof.